Hey Bluffton High School, this is Courtney Smith. If you just so happen to have eaten lunch here in the past six years, you've probably noticed a drastic change in the foods we've been served. Our favorite junk foods and sodas have been replaced with carbonated water and whole grain. Opposing to popular opinion, none of this is because the school hates us. In 2010, a new child nutrition bill was passed, and the school is merely complying with the bill. Let's talk to a student on our perspective of this. So Bailey, how do you feel about the school intervening in the foods you eat? I mean, I guess they're trying to kind of get, up off, get us off like a bad health habit, but really the kids are going to go out and eat bad foods directly after school anyway. Okay. Have you tried any of the school's new health food substitutes and how do you like them? If I don't want to eat, if I want to eat more than one thing on my tray, I kind of have to eat, try one of the health foods things. Honestly, they're not great. They're always bland, and most kids end up not eating them anyway and just buying more unhealthy food. Okay. How often do you take your health into account when you pick food? Well, most of the time, anything is healthy in moderation. So if you just like get out and exercise a little bit after you eat or after your sometime in your day, then you'll be okay. So it's not at all really. Okay. Thank you, Bailey. While many of us, like Bailey, are unhappy about these lunchtime changes, Nurse Stefan is working to show the school that healthy food is not the enemy. Let's talk to her on her efforts. So, Nurse Stefan, what is the driving force behind changing the lunch program? Robin McCorkle, the head of food services, and I were really excited when we became part of the wellness committee. And one of the driving ideas behind that was because students didn't seem to get excited about the lunches. They were complaining a lot and they weren't very um, involved with any of the decisions made in the school. So we wanted to involve the students in the decisions that they could make. So in December we got a grant so we could add food tasting to the lunches and that gives us a lot of flexibility, a lot of student involvement, freedom to be able to say I want to eat strawberries today or we want to test new fruits next month um, and gives them more freedom. So that was Robin and I's way of getting the students more involved and excited about adapting to the foods that they want to try, that they want to see and to learn new things about different foods. Okay. What lunchtime changes do students have to look forward to? Um, it's exciting. The Wellness Committee is starting a 100 mile club for the fitness activity stuff, so that's not part of lunch. The lunch part is a food tasting program. Robin McCorkle is ahead of that, and then there's a committee within the Student Council. Um, people from Culinary Arts, National Honor Society, and Nutrition and Wellness classes are all invited to join into this um, effort to make it happen. So things that uh, all the students can look forward to are new foods. Um, a dried spices bar, things like cinnamon. Um, you might see some new ones that you can try like Herbs de Provence or turmeric and we'll try to promote the health benefits to those various spices. We've thought about incorporating exchange students and the spices from their countries so we could have Husna's Day or Maram's Day to get you excited about their culture and connecting with them as well. We've thought about polling the students to see what they like, what they don't like in the lunch, what they want to see in the future. We've thought about, um, I have up on my refrigerator, what foods do you want to see at lunch? So right now there's something called a wasabi and pepper challenge. There might be some exciting things going on where some people can try some crazy peppers and spices and maybe write some comments about what they thought or didn't like or did like. So those are some of the new things and it'll be very, very uh, flexible through the year depending on what students want to see. Okay, thank you Nurse Stefan. You're welcome. Well, Bluffton High School, I hope you're excited for the lunchtime changes to come, but until then, no matter what food is being served, always remember to smile and thank you lunch ladies, and thank you for watching.